Hello and welcome. Thank you for viewing this educational segment presented by Buying Behavior Metrics. I'm your host, Martin Smith, author of The New Exhibitor and The New Lean Six Sigma Orange Belt for Exhibitors. These and other exhibiting tools are available on our website at bbmgo.com. Please go to the site and make use of the tools. You will find them to be extremely valuable in implementing and improving your exhibiting and event purchase experience. One of the unfortunate truths about human beings is that we're all very gullible. Our opinions can be swayed and we can be misled easily. Right from the Garden of Eden it was apparent that a little bit of truth mixed with a lie and we could be misled. In addition to being swayed by lies, we also quickly forget where lies, information, ideas, and data come from. This cryptic amnesia, or idea stealing, is a memory function that prevents us from remembering the origin of cognitive ideas until we eventually believe they were our own. This memory misfiring allows people like Al Gore to believe he invented the internet or your boss to take credit for your ideas at work. It isn't always that these people are bad, sometimes it's simply a fallout from the fact that after reviewing ideas long enough, we start to believe they originated from us. And this extends to information and data at a show. As exhibitors, if you don't remember where ideas come from, you will begin to believe that they're your own, and even if the data is a lie, as long as it's a positive or reinforcing lie, you will be changed by it forever. You may try to discount the information, if you know it's a lie, but your opinion and your work focus will still be changed. Adding to this misdirection, people, depending on the data source, do not typically verify the accuracy of information they obtain which makes the situation even worse. So to prevent this memory function from misleading the exhibitor, Lean Six Sigma methodology utilizes the Data Capture Plan, or DCP. The DCP is a spreadsheet type document that reveals what information will be captured before, during, and after the show. It combines the menu of metrics with the critical to success factors to define what will be measured, how much of the population will be sampled, who will obtain and collect the material, and how the data will be gathered. The objective of the worksheet is to make sure exhibitors measure the right or valued things and obtain creditable data that is reliable, repeatable, and accurate in order to facilitate continuous improvement along the right path. As you can see, this document records the data capture logistics and keeps the information honest. Having integrity in the data will allow you to accurately measure things that are of value to attendees before, during, and after the show. It will also prepare you for the measure and analysis phases, which requires accurate data as an input in order to deliver useful results and recommendations during the improve phase. With this tool in hand, I'll move on to a tool that assists with time management, and that's the Gantt chart. Exhibiting is a time-sensitive endeavor. Activities leading up to the show are always time-constrained and stressful. They are also dependent on one another, which increases the stress level and accountability factor. This creates a need for a tool set that allows time management and connectivity of the activities, tasks, and accountabilities. You start a Gantt chart by inputting a specific task. Once input, you assign a start and completion date along with a person or organization responsible for completion of it, and then you link it to other tasks in the project plan. Once entered, these items can be changed or updated to reflect the progress of the project. More importantly, it can be used to identify the critical path of the project, meaning the path that is so time sensitive that deviation from it will have a negative or critical impact on the show implementation. This allows the team to focus on the work that is vital to the show success and not miss deadlines. It also creates a sense of urgency for the completion of specific tasks and it drives accountability for the team members. Again, is a great tool for easy communication throughout the organization because it has a visual component that identifies what the status is of the project across the timeline. Congratulations on completing this lesson. As always, there are examples of DCPs and Gantts on our website, so please feel free to take advantage of those. And don't forget to update your other documents. In conclusion, allow me to thank you for your time in reviewing this material and for your interest in buying behavior metrics. It is our sincere desire to provide valuable offerings to help exhibitors create worthwhile purchase experiences and ultimately maximize their ROI. Please go to our website and explore all the online tools available at bbmgo.com. Thank you.